last nine Poketubers to give me a different creative challenge for every part of the game, and some of them are absolutely ridiculous. This was inspired by Whoop Sire's My Friends Hate Me series, so I asked Whoop to be the first person to give me a challenge today. All right. Hatters. Pokemon, uh, I'm going to make you use Whooper because obviously Whooper's the best. Um, True. And for the challenge, uh, I'm going to make you do a coin flip every time you find or enter a trainer battle. Tails, you win. Heads, you automatically lose. Oh, great. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, Whooper, I see you. And speaking of Whooper, we have to use a Whooper too. Calling a Whoop Sire so every time we lose, it's like he's beating himself up. I've never actually lost a coin flip. So heads, here we go, baby. See, I told you, we got heads. Which means I can easily defeat this Charmander with good old Whooper. And you know what? I'm so confident. Let's have a counter going every single time that I die. I guarantee we will not go down more than five times. I can't believe Whoop gave me the strong strongest Pokemon in the world to use. Isn't that going to make it too easy? In fact, I'm so confident I'm going to go fight the rival again. Just because I know I'm absolute boss at this. Flip it again. It's going to be heads. Wh oh, that's not good. Oops, sire. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, first loss. No worries. It's fine. Yeah, you know what? Maybe fighting the rival was actually a bad idea. But this bug catcher, though, I've got his number. All right, coin in the top right. What do you say? Is it going to be heads or is it going to be... Oh, come on. Whooper once again getting abused until death. This nurse is going to think I'm the worst Pokemon trainer on the bloody planet. Got to be heads. Got to be heads. Always heads. It's always heads. Come on, not again. Hey, Nurse Joy, what's going on? You want to you wanna go to McDonald's? I'll get you Big Mac. I'll get you McChicken. Huh? That sound good? Yeah, she said no. I can't figure out why. Well, hold on there, mate. It looks like some sweaty nerds trying to steal your information. It's a good thing that NordVPN is sponsoring this video. NordVPN is one of the world's most trusted VPNs to keep you safe. With over 5,400 servers in 59 countries, they're everywhere and they're so easy to connect to. But Daniel, why would I care about all those servers? Well, you should care because NordVPN does so many things to not only keep you safe, but keep you entertained as well. And safety comes first. No matter if you're at home or on public Wi-Fi, hackers can get access to your network if you're not using a VPN, which means your data can be stolen. NordVPN keeps you safe by protecting you from that. It's also one of the fastest VPNs in the world. So while you're using that, your internet speed will be basically unchanged, depending on your location and your ISP. And if you enjoy online content, which I know you do, shut up, don't lie, then NordVPN can keep you entertained. See if you VPN VPN to different regions around the world, then you get access to all of the content that is locked behind region blockers. So if you're on Netflix and you realize, oh damn it, I really want to watch this show, but they don't have it in my country. Your VPN to a different country, there it is. Also trying out NordVP, also trying out NordVPN is completely risk free with a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no reason not to give it a go. So if that sounds good, which I know it does because I have ears, then go to nordvpn.com slash parisvpn and try it out. Thank you so much to Nord VPN for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with it. Well, I can't avoid this trainer, so I really hope it's a heads this time. Are you kidding me? Hey, Nurse Joy, you want a whopper? <laughs> what am I saying? Nobody wants to go to Burger King. All right, Sammy, time for round two, and this time I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> Come on, dude. Hey, Nurse Joy, you want to go to Chick-fil-A? Although we are both the female characters, so maybe a date there wouldn't be taken so well. Okay, Sammy, this time I'm definitely going to get heck. I'm not setting this up. This is just how every coin flip is gone. <laughs> hey, Nurse Joy, you want to go to Arby's? I'll let you get all the meats. Okay, Sammy, I'm definitely going to fight you properly this time when I get heads. Yes, finally. Go away, Sammy. We're not friends anymore. Flip that coin. Please don't let me die. Okay, yes, we get heads. Fantastic. Liam easily defeated by the god power of Whooper. Now I just need to win one more. Come on, Brock. Ah, oh, Tails. Brock, you may beat me one time, but never again. Oh my god, I'm so broke. I keep losing all my money. Nurse Joy, do you want to go somewhere really cheap with a dollar menu? Because I am bankrupt. But this time, it's going to be a big dub, right? Yes, heads. Now I just need to win like usual. Easy water gun, one tap some both. We absolutely eat up that tackle. Whoops, I are so strong. And what? shot the onyx as well we got the boulder badge and i only died this many times our next challenge comes from united gamer my friend dylan what's he got You've for just me just beaten the first gym and my first challenge is pretty simple catch okay. a nidoran female before entering into mount moon there's a one percent chance in finding one my second challenge is you must blindfold yourself to get through mount moon and listen what? twitter already knows you're jack so every time you hear a zubat cry you have to do five push-ups you can do it after you get out of the cave so it'll be a little easier on you and I now that you're 
to Mount Moon last challenge, go ahead and put your Pokemon nice and cozy in the PC as you're going to need to rebuild your team from scratch. You can only beat Misty with Pokemon that you can catch from here on out. Except the Nidoran. The Nidoran can be used. Good luck, Pat. Why, Dylan? Why? Okay, first order of business to find a Nidoran female, which is a 1% chance to be encountered. I'm going to keep track of how many encounters this takes. Imagine if I found it in the first one. That'd be hilarious. Encounter number 10 is not it. Oh, there's a Nidoran male. No, that's not what I needed. Encounter number 50. Nope. Encounter number 69. Nope. There's gonna be one right now. <sighs> Another Spearow. I keep finding these male ones, mate. Can you go and get your girlfriend, please? Oh my god, yes, I finally found one! Yes, it only took two, 204 encounters. Brilliant. Stay in the ball, Nidoran. Thank you. I'm gonna call it Brenna after Dylan's wonderful daughter. Okay, for the second challenge, I'm blindfolded for Mount Moon, which means I have to rely on sound to get me through and my knowledge. My blindfold is an upside down Batman mask, by the way. Here we go. Mount Moon time. Okay, if I go straight upwards, we should immediately hit a wall. And then we go to the right here. Oh, wait, no. Every time I face a Zubat, I have to do five push-ups. No, no, no. That's not a Zubat. I don't, that's, that's a, I think it's a Geodude, actually. And then I can go upwards until we hit a wall again. And then I, if I go right and then up, just like this. Oh, no, no, not another one. Oh, no, no, it's a Zubat. Okay, five press-ups. I think I could go to the left now and sneak past the trainer battle and then I should be able to go down right there should be a youngster to the left of me now I think so if I just keep going left I can get past him and then I should be able to get down the ladder soon if I can avoid the hiker there's the wall wait a moonstone hold on isn't the moonstone around here somewhere oh is that I think I just got it I think I just got it oh no where's the ladder is it is it three to the right? Is it two to the right? One, two. No, it wasn't. Okay, I got that wrong. Oh no, that's another Zubat. Okay, we'll go back up and try again. Maybe it's right this time. No. Oh no, I just found the, oh, I bumped into the hiker. I think he only has like Onyx, doesn't he? No wait, that's definitely a Geodude. That was a Geodude. I'm really glad I put Water Gun in the first slot. Oh now I think this is the Onyx. Okay, he's gone. What if I go up here? Nope, hit the wall again. God damn it. Okay, what about right a couple more times? Oh, oh, I think I did it. I think I did it, yes. Okay, now we're in the tunnel. So I go just go down and right and eventually oh, okay 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 we're in the team rocket area so if i go up about four steps one no i can't go up okay never mind right then up we need to find the stairs which i think is before the end okay so that's the end so i have to go back a couple of steps okay good and then i need to get to the next stairs do we battle the team rocket guy no oh, we do damn it okay i just need to spam water gun water gun is spammed which means about two spaces away from the ladders i think one two up yes now we just need to take it around town uh oh wild encounter please don't be a Zubat, please. No, that's a Zubat. I know that cry anywhere. Now we just take it around town a little bit. Oh God, no, not another one. Please, no, 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 no. No, come on. I think we're making good progress here. I've never had to do this before, so this is really hard. Okay, we hit the wall on Team Rockets to the right. There he is, which means if I go one more right and then up, it should be Fossil Guy. Up, please. Oh no, I hit a wall. Okay, if I go right again. Wait, did I, did I do it? Am I? Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's a text. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I, I got to Fossil Guy. Why? Why am I not attacking anymore? I don't understand. Why am I not using water gun? Oh my god, did I replace it with another move? Oh my god, I replaced it with another move. Oh my god, that's tail whip. What about down? Please tell me. Is that oh wait, that's my shot. Oh, that's good. Yes, I got my shot. Okay. Now which fossil do I want? I want this one. The doe. He the no nah, helix. Yeah, helix fossil. Oh my god, am I poisoned? I'm poisoned. Oh no. Oh my god, why am I poisoned? Oh, that's an item. Okay, okay, I, I got an item. Which means that I should just need to go. Right, I, I think. Oh, yes, okay. Oh my god, I'm so close to being out. From this tunnel, it's just... Right? Yes! I did it! I'm out! Woo! Thank Woo! Let's go! Oh god, that light is so bright. Jesus Christ. Okay. Been blindfolded too long. And I encountered four Zubat during that, so... 20 press-ups. 20 press-ups. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Twenty. There we go. Now I have to ditch poor Whoop Sire and get a brand new team. A rat, a snake, and a bird. I got the Moonstone, might as well make Granite a wonderful queen. This should be enough to take down Misty, right? Little bit of rock tomb here and there. Little bit of crits. Starmie could definitely be a big issue. Go on, Brenna, tank that water pulse. Nice. Lower its speed with rock tomb. It wasn't slow enough, Brenna, no. But I have Dylan as backup. Big hyper fang. What's it gonna do? Oh, that's huge damage. And it crits me! But I can outspeed and one more Hyper Fang takes him out! I did it! For Gym 3, we have Gabe, Purple Fire! Right, wrap your team, fuck your team, fuck your Tramander. We got okay. a new team here. This is a brand new team, not of my choice, not of your choice, but who the fuck cares? Presuming what? you are playing on MGBA. 
I mean, your ga hardware Game Boy Advance, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to turn off a little setting here. Okay. Wait, what is this? What is that? What does that do? <laughs> now you can't what? see what moves you have or what moves are using. So have fun. Of no, course, once you've been in the gym, you can change back to your team if you'd like. Oh my know. god. My team's probably better. One more thing I are you forgot kidding to mention. Me? Be sure to turn off the object video layer once you get into the gym for the gym puzzle. What does that do? I don't know what that does. Okay, Gabe also sent me a text file of the team that we have to use, which is, oh my God, it's like a fully, okay. It's like a <laughs> level 100 Togepi <laughs> with only Metronome as well. Awesome. Okay, our team is looking pretty good. You know, I don't think this will be that, but oh no, I can't. I don't know what any of the moves are gonna be. Okay, that was bite, I think, and it didn't kill. What else does a Snubble have? Let's try tackle. Okay, and is that is that Thunderbolt? Why does Snubble have Thunderbolt? Wait, I just, I just learned a new move. But I don't know what it was because it wouldn't tell me. Oh, also, I don't know what my health points are either. Okay, Taylor has facade, I think that is. Oh boy, time to learn a new move. Ooh, I wonder what I should get rid of. I have no idea what I just learned. You know, I won't have to wonder about the moves if I just use a level 100 Togepi metronome all the time. Then I can one-shot everything. That was false swipe. I still believe in you, Togepi. We can do this, us together. Togepi, you can kill a bird, right? Oh, yes, you can. That's a waterfall. Hey. You go. Boat time, baby. <laughs> Rival, you have no idea the power I wield right now. The power of a level 100 metronome, which is an electric type move, but it's one of the only ones that doesn't actually do any damage. You guys want to see what happens when you press the help button with no object layer on? <laughs> yep. Wow, so helpful. Look, here's the bully charm. Melee and Gabe was talking about before. Is that toxic? You can one shot it with literally any move. Please, Togepi, just use an attacking move that can. Oh my god, are you kidding? Is that rap? At least the poison will take it down. Update, poison didn't take it down, but the rap did. Goodbye, boat. I'll see you on the grand line. Hello, sir. I'd like to peruse your wares. Ooh, so many things to buy. God, it's like being in America. You don't know how much you've spent until you look at your bank statement afterwards. Okay, I have to teach someone cut. This shouldn't be too hard. Oh, that's right. I can't see my start menu. Is this my bag? That's not my bag. This is my bag. Nope. This is my bag? It is. The hell is this? Oh, teachy TV. Yeah, I need some help, please. Okay, I think this is cut. It is. I think Diglett can learn cuts. What do we get rid of? Oh, jeez, I don't know. So, such a tough choice. I have no idea what I just did. Now, Gabe did say when we enter the gym to turn off another layer. So let's see what it... Oh. Oh, come on. I don't even know where I am now. Uh, is this it? Nope. How do I do this? Oh my, wait, someone's fighting me? Who's fighting me? Oh boy, no, this is this is so much better actually, I agree. I don't know what's happening right now. I think I, did I just win or what? Okay, good. Wait, I just heard a sound effect. Does that mean that I got it? I couldn't even see the text. Oh, I got one of them, you can see it. Wait, so I think it was two from the right, which means it must be one of the ones next to it. Is it this one? No, it reset, no! Oh wait, I got another one, there we go. Okay, okay, it should be the one above it. Please, please. No! I didn't realize how hard this game would be if I can't see a bloody thing. Oh, wait. I got one. Okay. Bottom left was the one. So just above it. No, reset again. Oh, I got it again. And a reset again. Wait, wait, did it? Oh, I got it. Yes, finally. Wait, there's another trainer. All right. Time for the gym battle, I guess. Oh boy. Scary gym leader. I just have to rely on sound effects. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, I saw my Togepi for a second. He popped up. I think I'm paralyzed. I keep hearing the paralysis thing. Well, what was that? What really happened? I don't know what it was, but it killed it, so I'll take it. Okay, Pikachu just came in. Oh my god, it's using double team. No, don't. It's still using double team. I can hear the sound effects. Wait, is that a move? Am I attacking? Nope. Oh, we killed it. The Raichu's out now. I don't know what's happening. There's a Raichu on my screen, though. How am I in red health? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, I did... Did I do it? I just I just kept clicking buttons until I won. I did it! Oh my god, the nightmare is over! I never knew how much I missed text boxes. Okay, Hoodlum Callum up next. All right, Pat. First thing of the challenge, uh, scan my hat. Okay. Wait, it's a YouTube video. Are you... Really? Why? I hate you so much. Okay. Let me, let me know what you think. I hate Secondly, you. Secondly, I want you to use a dunce bar. And I want this dunce bar to have Serene Grace as its ability. Okay. And I want the dunce bar's only attacking move to be headbutt. And on top of that, you are not allowed to go over the level cap of the gym leader, which is 29, I believe. So sure. with that all set in place, between gym three and gym four, you are to only use dunce bar. And I want you to battle every single trainer you see between now and then. I want you to save before you battle every trainer as well. Because when you battle them, and if you use headbutt and it doesn't flinch the opponent, 
you're gonna have to reset and try again. What? I mean, if you oco it, then you know that that's its own that whatever you oco it. But if you use headbutt and it doesn't flinch them, you oh gotta my god, reset the battle. Oh I my god, every Pokemon you fight to be flinched. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I've got my boy Headsley, and when did you find a choice band? Headsley. You know exactly what to bring, don't you? Serene Grace and Headbutt. Okay, here we go. Headbutt one shot, good. And again, and again, and again. Nice. You know, maybe this won't be so bad. Maybe Headsley is just like super good. It can one shot my chop. It can one shot. Oh no, Onyx. Please flinch, please flinch. Yes, just a few more times. 60% chance to flinch. Yes. Yeah, you know what? Maybe Headsley's got it going on. I don't think bug catches will be an issue. The hikers though. Oh, the hikers are gonna pose a problem. Please flinch, Geo dudes. Yes, this is going so well so far. I'm getting so lucky. Now, this is where my big brain comes in handy. Callum said I have to battle all the trainers that I see. But in Rock Tunnel, if I don't use Flash, well, then I won't see many trainers at all, will I? I mean, yeah, I have to battle the weird stalkers that walk up to you regardless. But if I can figure out a way through without encountering many trainers, then I'm gonna be more safe. Hesley can easily deal with this. Oh, yes, it is. And there goes the Slowpoke. And I have my handy dandy memory. Definitely not a map to guide me through. Uh-oh, that's a trainer. Please, head leads, heads leads take it. Oh no. Oh, we flinched. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm also not allowed to go above level 29 because that's the level cap. Oh no, it's a hiker. No rock types. Please no rock types. Please no. Oh, that's an onyx. Come on, Headsley. Big flinch, big flinch. No! I had to reset for the first time. There we go. Let's try this one again. No, wait, I have to get another one. Oh, we got a crit. That was so lucky. Wait, is this another hiker? Oh no, it is. And he stopped. Starts with an onyx. Please, big flinch. Yes, another crit, another crit. No way, we just got another one? Oh, uh, there's more onyxes. Flinch. Yes! Go on, do it again. Get another crit. No, he lived. Okay, flinch. Oh my god, okay, this is scary. Tell me you don't have three onyxes. Yes, a geodude as well. Okay, can we get a flinch here? Yes! Oh my god, we got so lucky. Oh boy, another hiker. Flinch good. He has a graveler as well. No! Oh, that must have been a crit. No, it wasn't. Jeez. Hesley's going insane. I don't know how many hikers there are in here, but I'm hoping there's not that many more. Oh, hey! See, I have no problem with these ones. I can one-shot them all, no bother. The bloody rock types that this fella has. Big hit, Headsley. Well done. Good flinch. Now, same again, please, if you don't mind. Thank you. And one more time, just for good measure, yes? Oh, thank you very much. If I'm right, I think that might be the last hiker in the area. It was! I'm free! Wait, that guy's not a trainer, is he? Oh my god, he is. I have to fight him. Oh, well, at least I have crits on my side. I've murdered many of your kinds recently, and none of you have ever been able to touch me. Not once! Turns out this weird is also a trainer. And now we're almost at Cerulean. And I just have to, I mean, Saladon, it's a good thing there's not many trainers here. Oh my God. Just keep headbutting. Just keep headbutting. Every single trainer here. Headsley is ridiculously strong. My God. And not just the bikers, but the scientists and the old men too. Headsley is just absolutely cracked. I made it to Saladon. I am going right to the gym now. Come on, Don Sparse. Let's give some head to Erica. None of your grass types can live the headbutt. And with all the Gym trainers taken care of. I think this is gonna be the hardest one. I have to flinch everything on Erica's team. Starting with Victory Bell. Come on, bit. Yes! Oh, using potions already? That's fine. I don't care. I'll just head you again. Erica can't withstand my powerful head giving capabilities. Can I tangle her? No, it did I angry. God damn it. Reset the game. I sure hope Victory Bell still flinches good. All right, Tangler, round two. Oh, I created it. <laughs> well, that works, I suppose. Final one. I think we just need to get one good flinch off on this. Oh, I created it again. What the hell is the chances? Hensley is an absolute crit machine. What a legend. Next challenge is from Game Boy Luke. Let's see what we got. All right, Pat, here are my rules for this part of your run. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm really off my phone because we had a few changes and stuff, so I had to like, you know, refresh my mind. Uh, but uh, for my part of the run, uh, you have to play in double speed, which seems pretty, you know, pretty good. That's all right. You ain't gonna have any trouble with that. But okay. we're gonna invert your controls too. So all your directional controls are reversed. B and A is flip, you know, just to keep you on your toes. All uh, right, I like okay. stacking rules because those two seemed a little bit too easy. But we actually have a gameplay rule here as well where sure. every single Pokemon that you use during this run is uh, choice. So you, uh, you, you, if you choose a move, you are locked into that move for the rest of the segment, not battle for the rest of the segment. The you don't segment? get the benefit of giving a scarf, specs, or band or anything to everybody. You just have to use one move and one move only. On oh Pokemon. my god! Uh, on top okay. of that, every single time Pokemon dies, which probably won't come into effect because we all know you're super, super good at Pokemon. True. Uh, every single yeah. time Pokemon dies, that Pokemon changes to a Ladyba. <laughs> it keeps its moves, nature, ability, the rest of it. It just changes no! to a Ladyba. 
uh, have fun with that, I guess. No! Why, Luke? Okay, we're in double speed, and I even put a controller on screen so you know that my controls are inverted, and this is really awkward and I hate it already. So we have three things that we need to do here. Number one, we have to catch the Pokemon because I only have half of a team. Number two, we have to make it through Cycling Road. And number three, immediately go and fight the gym because I don't want to deal with this any longer than I have to. Okay, a Pidgey. I'll take that. What does it be to... Oh, God. I got a Pidgey and an Oddish and a Meowth. Okay. Now I just have to battle against inverted controls to get a Leaf Stone for my Oddish, which... Come on. Get to the... No. Okay, I'm close there. No, no. I, I need to... Uh, no, why is it so... Oh, why is it so hard? Come on. Okay. Is this where the Leaf Stones are? Nope. Is this where the Leaf Stones are? Hello. Oh, yes. I just need to... Okay. I, I just... Um... I mean, just, it's on double speed so it doesn't stop where it's supposed to. Yes, one leaf stone, please. Okay, I get a vile plume at the very least. And actually, a Snorlax would be pretty good too, wouldn't it? Yes. Oh, my layer's on one HP. Oh, I didn't heal. Whoops. Okay, let's just go into help. I'll have to use Giga Drain here. Thankfully, I got that from the gym leader. Oh, it has rest and chest as well. Come on, man. Are you putting me to sleep as well? Just gonna throw Pokeballs home for the best. Yep, yeah, didn't work. Please? Oh, it works second time, yes! Dude, naming Pokemon is so hard when the game is sped up and your controls are inverted. What is going on? What a good thing! I have to call you boy because I can't fit in anything else. So now I have to choose one move from all of my team members and only use that move. So for Leo, I've gone with Water Pulse, so I have access to a water type move. With Jack, I've gone with Fly because Fly, obviously. With Boy, I'm going to go with Headbutt because we need normal stab. With Duck, I guess I'll go with Wing Attack. With Help, I have to go with Giga Drinks. I've already used it. And with Headsley, we're going to go with Headbutt because it's Headsley. And if any of my Pokemon fate, they immediately turn into Letty Buzz. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. God, I have to get through the entire cycling road. Oh, Oh, Jesus Christ. Go on, Leo. You've got this. Just smack them with water pulses over and over again. And I can't die if I'm too busy flying. Ooh, wheezing. I mean, that's not too big of a deal, is it? Don't smoke screen me, bro. That's not very polite. Come on, stop it. <gasps> Leo, just no, Leo. Get revenge, Hedgley. And now if I go to check my team, oh my God, Leo's turned into a Letty Bun. No, my poor child. Why has this happened? All I need to do is just avoid Avoid the other trainers and oh, 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 no, damn it. Well, at least I have a ladybug giving them the business now. I say pretty good, right? How many of you think I can get to the bottom of Cycling Road without encountering any more trainers? Let me know in the comment section right now because we're going to go in three, two, one, double speed and burn control. Oh. Okay, well, I guess that didn't last very long. But as long as I have boy, I'll be okay. I'll just plow my way through these large, bald men. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, that's my champ. Help me, help! Okay, now no more encounters with- Oh, I think I did it! <laughs> oh no, I've encountered the biggest enemy of them all. The exit. Oh god, it's so finicky. How do I get there on the bike? Oh, this is impossible! Yes, I did it! All right, get me in this gym. I have to find the cure to the Ladybug Plague. Boy, is this absolutely rinsing all of these fellas. Look at them go! I'm I'm honestly so glad I got him and just look at him destroy everything. Oh, I should heal. The last thing I need is boy turning into a Ladybug. Oh, oh, that did so much damage. Nope, not gonna risk him. Go with the Giga Drain. Nice and safe. I just want my controls back to the way they used to be. It's so hard to get through an invisible maze with this. I also really regret not teaching Duck how to fly, considering that would be so much of a better move for it right now. But you know, at the same time, technically ducks can't fly, so I suppose it makes sense, really. Go on, Duck. Kill everything. Oh, things are getting a little bit scary here. Oh, big crit. Well done, Duck. You know, this actually hasn't been that bad. Oh, no. I forgot that poison kills you in the overworld in this game. No. We've lost another one to the Ladybug Plague boys. <laughs> All right. I've had enough. It's time for a gym battle. I've mastered the inverted... I've, mas I've mastered the inverted controls. I now know how to use them perfectly. And now we're gonna fight, Koga. Get over here. It's time that we brawl. It's time that we throw down. I've been looking forward to this for so long, Koga. Just give me a, give me a second. There we go. At least ducks can still help a little bit when it's a leddy, but no, it can't. Okay. At least Headsley can still fire off headbutts. Oh my God, it's doing so so much damage. It's just destroying everything. Hesley's going crazy right now. He's going absolutely insane. God, I'm so glad I still have this. Wheezing, you are nothing. I'm flinching you left and right, baby. I can't miss. This is incredible. Look at me. Oh, I missed. I, this is... Oh, I missed again. Oh, my God. Stop. Hesley, don't you dare miss, okay? You need to do this this time. Thank you, Hensley. Oh my god! I was scared he was gonna turn into a Lenny there. I did it! 
the soul badge. Our next challenge comes from my friend Num Nexus. You have to go into the Safari Zone, find the absolute rarest Pokemon, no if, ands, or buts. Use that Pokemon in a battle and try and get a crit chance with it. You lose. You're a geek. What? I'm a, I'm a geek? Or, you know, you kind of just find the next rarest Pokemon and then try to get a crit with that. And you go downhill, and that's the challenge. Okay, this seems like a pretty simple challenge. Catch the rarest Pokemon in the Safari Zone, and then get a crit with it. But if I don't get a crit, I have to come back, get the next rarest, and get a crit with that. But the problem is I only have 600 steps in the Safari Zone before I have to leave. And there's a lot of rarest Pokemon that we could find with this Pinsir, this Scyther, this Chansey, and they all have pretty similar encounter rates, so I guess I'm gonna have to find one of those. I hope one of them is this encounter. That's a Nidoran, that's disappointing. Oh, another Nidoran, wow. And an egg. Oh, I found a Kangaskhan, which is not really one of the rarest. And I got kicked out. Gonna spend all my money on this, it's gonna be great. Oh, I found a Scyther, yes! I just need to catch it. Come on, Scyther, please. Okay, three wobbles and, oh my God, I got it, yes! Now I'm really glad I got Scyther because I have a plan here. See, I just caught a Scyther with focus energy and false swipe. Focus energy boosts my crit chance and false swipe leaves the target at one HP. So even though I only have one battle to try and get a crit, we have the best setup to make it happen. And I'm asleep. Come on, Scoop, wake up. Hey, come on. And I got critted immediately. All right, Scoob woke up. Can I get a crit on my first hit? That would be amazing. I didn't, but I can just try again because I won't knock it out. This is the best Pokemon to try and get a crit with. Paralyzed, cool. Though it has been a few turns and I haven't gotten a crit yet. I got critted again. Okay, Scoob, this is getting a little bit silly now. Could you please get a crit? Paralyzed, Scoob, buddy, you really need to get a crit now. Oh my God. How about this time? Nope, this time. Nope, this one maybe. Oh yes, I finally got the crit, yes! Just a quick detour to slap the ass of the mafia. And to body slam an Alakazam real quick. Oh my God, that damage. And the gym badge is obtained. All right, next up we have Flygon HG for gym number seven. Let's okay, see what we got. here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get an Arabok with okay. Shed Skin. Right. And then in the fight against Blaine, you can only kill each of his Pokemon if they've burned Arbok and you've healed the burn using a burn heal. Oh my god. So if god. the Arbok dies or one of his Pokemon runs out of moves that can burn you before they've burned you and you've healed it with a burn heal, you have to restart the battle. Oh but no. But you can skip getting burned by the previous Pokemon. Good luck, Patters. And I've healed it with a burn heal, so Shedson's gonna kick in and oh no! Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get an Arbok with Shed Skin. And then in the fight against Blaine, you can only kill each of his Pokemon if they've burned Arbok and you've healed the burn using a burn heal. So if the Arbok dies or one of his Pokemon runs out of moves that can burn you before they've burned you and you've healed it with a burn heal, you have to restart the battle. But you can skip getting burned by the previous Pokemon. All right, here's an Ekans right here. Let me make sure that I don't miss catching this. All right, Slippery, I really hope that you have Shed Skin. <laughs> he does. Also, I spelled his name wrong. Whoops. All right, Blaine, let's do it. Ha, ah, you better have a burn heal. Oh, I don't have just one. I have 23. <laughs> okay, Slippery, I just need you to get burned real quick, please. I'm just gonna use glare over and over again until you burn me. Can we get to the first turn? Nope. What about the second? Nope. I really hope Growlithe has more than one fire type move. Oh no, he's using bite now and take down. I don't think he has any more fire type moves. <laughs> they all only have fire blast as moves that can burn me, which means I only have five attempts before I have to reset every Every single time. Please, Slippery, just be burned again. Oh, crit, nice, brilliant. Oh, yes, I finally got burned. Good, good, good. Okay, don't, Shed Skin, don't. All right, I have a burn heal. Use the burn. Yes, sir, yes, 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 okay. Now I can finally kill the Growlithe. Okay, one down, three to go. I'd love to get unlucky right now. Nope, it would be really cool if you could just hit me with a little burn. Oh, that's a crit, all right, crit burn. Nope, Blaine May, I'm begging you to stop missing. This has gotta be it, I feel it, nope. Oh no, he's ran out of fire blast and fire spin doesn't burn. So I gotta reset, but thankfully, I am allowed to skip the Growlithe because he said that I was allowed to get past it. Okay, Ponyta, it's a new fight. I just need you to hit me with a big hit. Oh, come on. 30th time's the charm, apparently, yes! No shed skin kicked in, and burn heal, did it! Hey, now I can just knock out the Ponyta. Now Rapidash comes in. Now Rapidash is a big, strong horse, so this should be able to burn me in one. Oh my God, it did! Wait, no shed skin, no shed skin, no shed, no shed skin! Maybe the second one again? Nope, we did get a crit. That's hot and sexy. I think this is his last one. 
Nah, damn it. Here I go battling again. Five blast number 47. How about five blast 48? All I ask is that you toss me in the oven. I need you to cook me, Rapid Ash. You know, I feel real good about five blast number 98. Oh, yes, it was. No shed skin. No shed skin. No, come on. Hey, what about five blast 106? Blaine, I will pay you real money if you burn me, please. I feel like I'm asking for very little here. Fire Blast 47. Uh, 147 is not a uh, burn. Trade offer. You burn me now and I give you an all expenses paid trip to Yellowstone. How does that sound? Nope. Oh my God. Yes, finally. This takes no <laughs> shed skin again. If shed skin cures a burn one more time, I'm going to flay myself. Yes, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it, shed skin. Don't you. <gasps> it didn't do it. Yes. Finally! Okay, all that's left is Arcanine. Go on, Arcanine. First fire blast burn. You can do it. Oh my god, he did it. He did it. He actually did it. Shed skin, don't you. <gasps> yes, the first one. Oh my god. And now I'm allowed to win. Finally, Slippery did it. I'm more like Slippery. Oh my god, Flygon, you're a demon. <laughs> and now for the final gym battle, Shady Penguin gives us a challenge. Well, hello, my good friend Patters. I have a challenge for you. Between gym badges seven and eight, I believe that's where you want me. You need to go ahead and make sure your battle style is on set. You can't be switching out for free because for this challenge, every time before you make a move in battle, you have to switch a Pokemon. Do you understand? God you damn it. I mean, so. So if you got Charizard in the back and you got Venusaur out front and you want to use a move on Venusaur, well, you can't. You got to switch in Charizard and then you can switch back to Venusaur and use a move on Venusaur. Okay, not the hardest challenge in the world, but definitely going to be annoying. So let's see what Giovanni's going to have in store for us then, shall we? First battle, I'm not allowed to attack. I have to immediately switch out and our team is looking pretty good now. But Vile Plume can easily destroy a Marowak in just one hit because it's so strong. And now we play the Revolving Dora Pokemon and keep on switching in and switching out until we get the badge. Thankfully, I have a huge brain and know exactly how this gym works, so I only have to fight two trainers until I can face the gym leader. But it still means that I have to do the switchy, switchy in, switchy out until the freaking gym leader and also in the fight as well. And if I don't knock it out in one hit, I get to switch around again. Go on, Hensley, you can take down a Machop, can't you? Well done. But a choke, however, I don't trust you on that one. I really hope this fly knocks you out. Oh, it barely did. Time to confuse Giovanni with the confounding, continuous conundrum of why I keep switching every single time I move. Good thing I'm big and smart and I gave the boy surf so I can one-tap this Rhyhorn easily. But the Needle Queen comes in and who's gonna take on this thing? Headsley? I really hope this headbutt is strong. Oh, it's not quite enough. Now Jack can come in and finish it off. Now I'm poisoned, which is great, but there's another Rhyhorn here, which I think boy is good for this. Oh, a big man on campus here has got Earthquake, and that did a solid chunk as well. Oh, I just had the best idea. Technically, if I use Petal Dance, I can't switch, which means I can stay in again another turn, which will help me win here. And oh no, it's the game that did it. It's not my fault, so now I can easily knock out the Needle King without- Oh no, help, died, no! Okay, the game didn't like my cheating, I guess. And Scoob can't even finish it off. The last one is a Doug Trio. I can body slam you. And that should be an easy knockout. Well done. And there we have it. The gym badge is obtained. And now it's time for the last challenge of the run coming from my friend Vinny Original 151. All right, Patters, here is my challenge. In every battle you do for the rest of the game, you can only use one move, and then you immediately have to switch out to your next Pokemon. Wait. Good I... luck. What? And I'm very sorry. But Vinny, that's what Shady gave me. <laughs> Did they know how it was back to back the same rule? I had no idea they were going to give me the same rule and they didn't either. So from now on until the end of the game, we're adding an additional rule. Permadeath. Every time my Pokemon faints, they're dead forever. Before I can slither my way up to the Elite Four, we have to take on this snake again. No, Slippery, I didn't mean you. Come on, you always do this. You always act like I'm talking about- No, Slippery, stop it. First thing first, we body slam. And then we have to immediately switch out. So I can headbutt and hopefully kill. Oh, we did, nice. And now on boy, I really hope I can one-shot this thing. No issue whatsoever. Jack's about to crack some eggs and make some omelets delicious, nice and poached. See, my plan is to kill every Pokemon in one hit, then I won't have to switch, and that was not even close. And if I can't kill it in one hit, then I kill it in two hits, which we didn't do that either. Oh, we switching, are we? You fool, you just set up the raid, and I have my boy with surf out. Congratulations, idiot, you played yourself. Oh, I didn't kill, what? All right, Jack, time to finish it off. Now that we're in the rain. Wait, the rain stopped last turn. 
No, Jack! I mistimed the rain! POV, I'm the only British person that wants there to be rain. I'm so sorry, Jack. You spent so much time carrying us through the region. Goodbye, Jack. I think it's time we bring Brenna back to the team from the second challenge. Victory Road went very well. Okay, we go left and... Oh, fuck. Now it's time for the Elite Four. Let's go, Lorelei. I'm ready for this. Big headbutt to start things off is almost a kill and a nice flinch, but now I have to switch. But I can just go into boy. Expertly avoid betting getting frozen. Oh my god, that did nothing. And slam with a body slam. Next up is Clelelel Oyster, but I think Giga Drink can probably one tap this thing. Yes, he can. Nice little dunk on the noggin from Hensley. Boy here to finish it off. Oh, it's Lapras, the ace. This is a little bit more scary. Come on, Hensley, do a ton of damage. Oh, so much. And a nice flinch as well. This is going so well so far. I oh, have such a sparry. Damn it. Just switch into boy again. Oh, you like to body slam too, I see. Well, my body slam is better than your body slam. Oh, no. It's not enough, though. Please don't heal. Damn it. Giga drain. Give me that health back. Come on, Hensley. Big headbutt. Finish it off. Ah, oh, so close. And another potion. Ten years later, we finally do it. Bruno's going to be a wee bit harder considering my best Pokemon are normal types. But at least I can spam Earthquake. As long as I switch out and wait two to three business days before using it again. Oh, surf's on boy, that's right. Imagine a Snorlax on a surfboard. Now imagine getting kicked in the face by a Hitmonlee. Go on, Slippery, time for you to get a kill. Good job, little buddy. And now we deal with the Machamp. And I would usually toxic this, but it has guts, which makes it way stronger when it's poison. So I'm not gonna do that. Oh, and it has bulk up, uh-oh. I can always rely on help to take a hit and- No, it was a crit, help, no! Go on, Scoob, get a crit. No, it has rock too, what? You can hang on, right, Scoop? This is not gonna kill you now! I tried to use Body Slam and I made the terrible mistake of getting it paralyzed. Please, this is so bad. Wait, but that means I have speed so that this earthquake. Please tell me it can- Yes, take him out! Oh my god! We barely survived. Help and Scoob have both died. But it's okay. We still carry on. And that is a Gengar and I led with my Snorlax. Oh, well, at least I still have Surf that does nothing. Slippery, mate. It's your time to shine. Time to eat a ghost. Enjoy. Didn't quite do enough, but now Surf can finish it. Come on, really? After 20,000 turns, Slippery finally is able to kill something. This is really rough for Brenna, considering all the moves I have, that Pokemon is completely immune to. But hey, at least I have Pursuit on Headsley. I mean, that's awesome, right? It's not like Pursuit ever did anything useful or kill a Pokemon or... Oh, Hunter's dead. Nice. Oh my god, finally! A Pokemon that I can actually attack! Intimidate, really? It's fine. Earthquake can still sh one-shot you. Oh, so close! It's up to Headsley to finish him off. And then the last Gengar. Is Pursuit really gonna do it? No! Four star! And Slippery finishes with a bite. Good job. Alright, come on, Lance. I don't scared of you. Time for strategy. I use Yawn on the first turn. Then I switch into Headsley and Screech to lower defense. You go back into boy and hit him with a body slap. You woke up immediately? Come on. Dragon Rage does nothing. <laughs> Dragon Rage? More like Dragon Slightly Miffed. Oh, and Hensley one-shots it after the full restore, too. Got a little surf action for this Aerodactyl. The rest of my team kind of sucks, but I do still have this Toxic in the back. And here's the big boy. Oh, he's safeguard. You're smart cookie. You've learned. But with a screech here and a body slam there, we can kill it. And then all that remains is the stragglers. Checkmate, left. Now it's time for our final challenge. This entire run, we've been facing the challenges of Poketubers, but now we face the final challenge. Every single Poketuber fused into one. One amalgamation of all my competition on YouTube. And if I beat them here, they'll delete their channels. Okay, that last part might be a lie, actually. But this Screech tactic is working so well that even a Poison Sting from an Arbok can kill a champion's Pokemon. Uh-oh, Alakazam. Okay, I better one-shot this. Go on, boy, you're so heavy. Tail me, you can one-shot it. No, but we get the process. That's good. Oh, yeah, Synchronize. No, it's bad. Hedsley, tell me you can take this Psychic. We should be able to outspeed him next turn. Yes, good job, Hedsley. A little body slam here. Followed up with a headbutt. Good job, Hensley. Dude, Hensley is awesome. I love my team right now. They're so cool. Go on, boy. Tell me a surf and Snorlax can one tap a ride on. Gyarados is definitely scary. When I put it to sleep, I screech it. It wakes up because I just yelled really loudly into its ears. Then we slam on it and it's alive. But just a few switches later, we finally get into a position to kill it. Oh, it's time for the big daddy now. Come on, boy. Get it paralyzed. Yes! Oh, that's so good because now I can just go into Headsley, slam him with a big headbutt, and then that should be it. Come on, Headsley, you can do it! Let's go! No, it's not enough, but he flinched. If he doesn't heal, then I... Yes, Headsley! Good job! I never imagined it that smash would be so good, and he finished it with a crit, too! I've defeated all the PokerTubers challenges and took this amazing team to Leap 4. If you want to see more amazing videos like this, please subscribe, and also I have a second channel. Subscribe there, too. Bye!